If you are going to have your final interview with Qatar Airways, I would just like to say congratulations and this video is for you. You made it through the first day and the second day of the Qatar Airways assessment days. I am so proud of you <laughs> and you deserve it. Give yourself a little pat in the back, just a few more steps and you will be on your way to traveling the world with the 5 star airline. So how do you nail the final interview of the Qatar Airways assessment? So I'm speaking from experience. I tried applying for this position for more than eight times. I actually just remember the eight times, but I think I applied more than that. And I was able to get the job at the last time that I applied. So in all those learnings and, and um, experiences, I was able to take note of my mistakes and what works for me and what didn't work. Okay, so because Qatar is very, very notorious of not telling you what you did wrong <laughs> so yeah so for the final interview expectations expect that they will be on time for your schedule because during that you will be uh, able to select your slot what time you want to be interviewed during that day but sometimes when the person ahead of you is late or not there they will then bump to the next one so <laughs> you will be earlier than your scheduled so expect that you might be called earlier than your scheduled time as well as um, my next uh, expectation that you need to uh, the next thing that you need to expect is they will probably spend about 30 minutes talking to you one-on-one -on -one, getting to really know you okay so that's the average time that they take for each and every final interview and after the interview they will tell you that they will contact you by email in around two weeks but that never really happens sometimes it's earlier sometimes it's so much more longer so that's called the waiting game <laughs> let's move on to my tips for you my tips for you make sure that you do your makeup in broad daylight okay because during the interview time on their one-on-one -on, -one on you they will open the curtains in the hotel at least in all of those times that i was uh given the chance to do the final interview they open the curtains guys they really open it so sometimes we do our makeup really really thick for the yellow lights of the hotel that's understandable for the first and second day but during the third day or the final day make your makeup daylight friendly so make sure that it is all nice and um, pleasant for the daytime or the white light all right so that's my first tip and the next tip for you very important one prepare for behavioral questions they will not ask you basic questions like why do you want to be a flight attendant or the basic things that you would expect in a regular final interview that is like, what is your edge? What is your strength? What is your weaknesses? No, Qatar Airways are very, very particular in this one. They really try to find good fit for their company because they are a very picky company. So they will try to find out what your character is. So behavioral questions, research that. And if you don't have time, in, in a summary, I could just tell you right now, what it is all about uh, an example of a behavioral question is like tell us about the thing that um, you have overcome what is the biggest obstacle that you have overcome in your life so far or can you tell us a success story in your life something that you have achieved in your life so these are very very tricky question so to answer this is you have to use the star method if you still have the time make sure that you check out how to do the star method but, but in summary 
STAR method is something that will help you stru structure your answer so you, you will look good. Okay, so STAR method, um, S stands for situation, T stands for the task, A stands for the uh, actions taken, R stands for the resolution or the results. So you answer your questions in this format. So for example, um, tell us of the biggest obstacle that you have overcome in your life. So S, start with an overview of a situation. Perhaps uh, the biggest obstacle that I have to deal with in my life is when my parent died. Okay, so that's a brief summary of the situation. Task, um, the task is that I have to be there to be the rock of the family as being the firstborn child and also I was dealing with my own sadness and depression. Actions taken. A, uh, what you could say is how I dealt with it is try to be strong for my remaining siblings and the rest of my family but I talk to my friends and I have seek their support in this very difficult time. And resolution you could say that in the end, everything was okay. In the end, I was able to pull through the depression. I wasn't, um, uh, I was, it wasn't that bad. I was able to find solace in prayer and find strength in knowing that life will always get better in the end. Or there is nowhere else to go when you reach the bottom but top. Something like that. So this way, you don't get lost by how you answer this very vague and very um, very difficult question to answer because the tendency when you are answering behavioral questions you might get carried away by for example the situation and then you don't know what to do now if you keep the star method uh, close to your mind you will keep your answers as well in a very nice flow in a very nice direction so that is how you answer the final interview questions. And as always, you have to apply all the rules of basic interview questions like um, keep your hands on your lap, sit properly, posture, smile, eye contact, things like that. And But I really think that the STAR method is something that you really should master and really is something that will be the the win-win for your interview on that day. So if you guys find this video valuable to you, the next best thing that you could do is download my book summary over at my website. So just visit misscakeris.com. There will be a free guide there. It's a one PDF downloadable form entitled eight proven steps to get your dream job as a flight attendant it basically summarizes this book that i am holding on right now and it helps you prepare every aspect of your preparation for the flight attendant interview and yeah and that is free so no worries all you have to do is give your email and don't worry we will not be spamming your email it will just it will just be me sending you uh, the free downloadable form as well as uh, free hiring alerts in the Philippines. If you're interested in my book as well, you can check it out. It's available on Amazon or in Shopee and in my website as well. This is the last video for this series. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you learn a lot from this one. Let me know in the comments and make sure that you get that guide All right. that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed and good luck on your application let me know how it goes i will wait for your comments and i will fly with you soon